<laughs> oh my god guys we did it we did it we did it it is day 40 baby <laughs> yo oh my god i'm super excited i am happy wow guys we did it see let me tell you you're supposed to be telling yourself that one of the things that i achieved this year is i took a 40 days so fast and i showed up and i did it and i made it happen oh my god i'm super excited i am happy i love that you did this I kid you know see when i took this challenge last year it changed my life and i am so sure that it's it's already changing your life i'm so sure about it i am very very sure about it guys and you know the beautiful thing about this i love what today's fast is about today's fast is about telling is about telling and the characteristics is community you can just say today's fast is just about you learning that God wants you to share your story. I remember last year, you know, when I encountered this fast and, you know, I saw it in the book that the book kept saying something about tell your story. I encourage you to tell your story. He said, I challenge you to be the light you want to see. And I remember telling myself that, see, Sharing my story makes God happy. I don't know why. <laughs> See, today, today is the last day, so let's just talk off record and stuff. I don't know why that thought stuck with me, but I just felt like telling my story is one of the things that the Lord wants me to do. I don't know about you, you know. I, I get what. See, and the beautiful thing about these thoughts is that it it just filled me with this supernatural confidence. Like, it just made me become, I, like, I became less ashamed to share my story. Like, I be, I, like, I want my story, like, I want my story, like, a shirt, like, a, I don't even know how to put it. You can see my excitement, right? Like, it just, it just, it just, okay, let me say this. This, this stood out for me. As you become your true self and you tell your story to others, you become part of a cloud of witness, a city set on a hill whose light shines brightly and who collectively witnesses the love of God for the world. So let your light shine. Like telling my story is one of the ways I let my light shine. Should I say that again? Telling your story is one of the ways you let your light shine. You know, and then there was this, this, this thought that came to my head that what if something happens to me today? My story is left in the ends of people who thought they knew me. Because the truth is, not everybody will know you. Not everybody, like, no peace and no peace. So stop trying to be like, I want to be known by everybody I still remember there was this lady, I don't know if you know her, but her name is Simone. She's an athlete and she, I've forgotten, I've forgotten what she does, but she, there's this particular sport that she does and she's one of the Guinness Book of Record owner, olders, olders. and she talked, she just got married recently, last month or either April or May, if I'm being correct. And Simone said that one of the things that drew her closer to her husband was the fact that she thought that he would know her. You know, like she's popular, she's an athlete, she's, she's on this cover of everything. But she said that he did not know her and that, and that made her feel a sense of relief. I remember when Sarah, um, Sarah Williams also Serena Williams also talked about when she first met her husband and she said the guy did not even know anything about tennis, talk less of even knowing her name. And yo, this is one of the, this is one of the goats of the profession and he did not know, like, <clears throat> Never stop telling your story. Don't ever assume that uh, people know me. 
See, this is not about you being bragging. This is not about you being over ambitious. No. Like, I remember when I learned this, I understood that trying to... Uh, you know, some people will tell you, I've met a lot of people. I've met a lot. People will be like, I'm so scared. I'm so afraid. I'm so this. See, you are not safe. Just imagine if God never told stories. Imagine if... For example, do you know that everything we read in the Bible is even a story that was narrated? Do you know? Imagine if God actually literally himself sat down and decided to write the Bible. See, I'm going to say this and say this again. Shine your light. Let's... Oh, people are going to... People are going to feel like... people. Let them. Let them. For example, I'm currently filming this in the month of June. And the Sunday before this day, Sarah Jakes did something with her hair. And I, I watched a video last night when she was having a conversation with her husband. And she was talking to her husband. She was like, she didn't mean to remove her wig. Like, it was just this. And, you know, she was just, and her husband was letting her understand that. Babe, what you did was you let God and allow God do what he wants to do. And you know, she was like, I don't want... And, she, and her husband was like, let God do what he's going to do. See, God uses the foolish things of this world. <laughs> I remember when I started WhatsApp marketing. I remember when I started doing WhatsApp marketing and I was doing it. I was digging it. And I was showing up. I was showing up. I was showing out. WhatsApp marketing. See, I won't be surprised if one of these days I get like a, an invitation to come and speak somewhere. I'm going to tell them, put it there. A girl from WhatsApp doing amazing things in the world. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that babe. Keep telling your story. Never assume that everybody has heard it. I wrote an ebook, right? Sharing my story. Even though I'm like, oh, this book is not perfect. I could have done this. I could have done that. I still stood with my book and currently we've sold more than 35 copies of the book. We're almost nearing 40 copies. We're almost nearing 50 copies. And I look forward to when I would say we've sold 100 copies. 1,000 copies. And by the grace of God, the book is going to be on Amazon by the end of this month. Yo! <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, I'm becoming so passionate about this, right? Because I wish everybody could understand share your story build that platform share your story see i won't lie to you one of the things i wished that i had you know i had done since when i was a kid or i had learned about was the fact that my story was all i needed i know of a particular young lady that it is one story she has been sharing over and over and over over again and this babe has more than one point something million subscribers on youtube and i'm like yo what are you doing and i remember one of our videos that i watched she said all i have is my story and i get to share it with the world and i get to be paid through it and i'm like sis you are in money and she said i am in money sharing my story If you are no longer in this world, how will your story be shared? How? Share your story, guys. Share your story. Share your story. Please, share your story. Please, become convinced, comfortable in yourself. Please, embrace authenticity. Please, 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 please. Be the light you want to see. And I encourage you to tell your story. I feel like I should even customize these two words on the shirt. Be the light you want to see. And the last one I'll say, I encourage you to tell your story. And then I'm going to wrap it up with this particular stuff. I, this, this, you know, I don't know if you know, you definitely know I'm, okay, don't let me assume you know I'm Mitchell Obama, I'm the former first lady of United States. You know, I should say something in this video I watched. She wrote a, a book recently. I'm still looking forward to reading the book. Um, the lights, 
the light we carry or the light you carry or something like that. She wrote that book. And in the video, she said something so profound, something so pivotal in that video. Okay, see me speaking English. Like, yo, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god oh my gosh guys <laughs> okay she talked about something so important she said let me remember because i, I want to i want to quote her exact words i want to quote her exact words and i remember watching that video earlier in the month of may and when i watched that video i told myself i said babe we are going to do this. We are going to do this. You know, she said so. She said, uh, yeah, the lights we carry. That's the name of the book. So she did a Netflix special. And she said something. She said, believe me, I don't have all the answers. Far from it. But I do have my story. And you do too. Hey. Do you know that? She wrote a book, Becoming Michelle Obama. Like a book, Becoming sharing her story she wrote anna do you know how much the book would have made her and with the book she was able to do her mate she did a movie she did a she did photo sh tell your story i feel like i feel like the only thing i want to do in this life is i just want to get to that i don't want to keep telling my story that i get to that stage that my story can put food on my table yeah and much more than put food on my table my story can help me impact the world that is it that is it that is it i remember one of the things i told god this year is that you know i when i learned that i'm god's storyteller and the more i tell of god's wonders in my life the more god can the more god can trust me to keep giving me wonders so that i can tell you know, I remember at the beginning of this year, one of the things I told myself when I learned that, when I got that revelation, one of the things I told myself is that I said, God, keep doing what you want to do in my life. Keep doing it. And I promise I'll keep sharing it. Like, I will not hold back from sharing the wonders you do in my life to inspire someone else. And that has been what my 2023 has been about. My 2023 has been about God doing his thing with my life. For example, how do you explain me registering for a 400,000 400, naira course? Like, I exhausted my own savings. I, it, it, it was wild. And still in that process, I moved to Lagos. Like, who does that? <laughs> I moved to Lagos and I got a two bedroom apartment that was amazing. That has a sitting room, that has a dining room, that has a kitchen that like, 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 who does that? Like, I have testimonies this year. Like, if you give me the mic and just say, through my, te like, use your testimony to teach a message, guy, I'm going to, I'm going to break it down for you. But that is my story. That is my journey. And I'm so grateful. And that's why I'm not ashamed to share my story. If you check my WhatsApp status every day, yo, see, it's just God trying to tell me that I need you to come to Instagram. I need you to go to other platforms. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I will try. <laughs> Jige, I look forward to doing my video recording collection. I'm going to be doing it soon by the grace of God. I look forward to doing it. And uh, it's just going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to it because I just want to keep sharing. See, that is it. I just want to keep making God known. See, if you don't share, you can't make God known. All right. And I love what, you know, today's fast the last word mama said to us in today's fast let me read it to you because it really blessed me let me read it to you it really blessed me and i really want you and i i want to read it out to you just in case in case maybe you know read them in case the thing no stick let me read it to you because it really really stood out for me and let me say it back to you 
it says that um ash let me try and look for it it was talking about the fact that um you and i i encourage you to tell your story better yet write a bigger story for yourself oh i'm trying to look for it i'm trying to look for it Oof, and i saw it i saw it it said congratulations yeah we are on the very last day of the 40 day so fast i commend you on completing the journey and i pray that you are living more authentically as a result so important so so important so so important you know and the beautiful thing is he said he was talking about um, community he was living about community and the importance of community it says in a community you find connection collaboration communication acceptance compassion respect support safety shared values inclusion kindness tolerance understanding and inspiration inspiration all right so and lastly i want to say this that he says she said let me know how living more authentically has made a difference not only within you but also in the world around you i believe that as each of us participates in the healing of our own soul we are participating in healing of our world and together we can create a healing movement that will bring peace and prosperity to people everywhere Guys, and with that, we have come to the end of the 40 day so fast. Ooh! Somebody, 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 somebody. See, if by now that you are listening to this, you have not bought my ebook. What, what's going on? Is a token of a thousand naira. A token of a thousand naira. So check the description box, get a copy. Let's elevate. Cheers to authentic living. I'm sure that this has blessed you. I really want to hear from you. How has this 40-day experience been like? So I come your way next time. My name is the Global Tolu Akin. Thank you so, so much. Bye.